Coming up in this video, five absolutely awesome caramel cocktails you can make at home. They're so easy. All the ingredients are really easy to pick up, especially in the UK. Uh, stay tuned for this one. This is amazing. So for your first cocktail, we're going for a tart tatan. Excuse the pronunciation, I hope that's right. Uh, caramel syrup, that's what we're going for. Hopefully I've got enough in there. There should be enough, just about Jack Daniels apple. Just go for a normal bourbon, normal whiskey though, with a bit of an apple if you fancy that. Uh, but I've got JD apple there. Liquor 43, 43 herbs and spices, overriding for flavor is vanilla. Pressed apple juice, cider to you guys in the US. And we've got some foamers. I'm not saying it's an egg white cocktail, but the foamers will give us a lovely finish on there. Note, I haven't got any lemon juice you could add a touch of lemon juice if you really wanted to to sort of dial it back in i'm not going to bother with this so first ingredient we're going for 15 ml one five of the caramel syrup in the shaker perfect there we go and uh, then we go for a double bubble hopefully there's enough of this apple sort of whiskey liqueur yes perfect oh look at that yeah finish it up perfect right 50 ml double bubble of that we're going for 15, one five mil of liquor 43. Go on, there we go. Give you a little close up there. Uh, this should already be pre-measured out. So 50 mil double bubble of your pressed apple juice. Uh, and then we're going for these foamers. New bottle, finally cracked the new bottle because I can't find the old bottle. So I'm assuming someone's binned it. Uh, so new bottle, six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is all you will need. We've got some ice, no need to dry shake this. Got some ice, good hard power shake. Get rid of your ice that's been chilling down your coupe glass and then I'm just going to double strain this into the glass. Look at that, amazing. Give it a couple of little taps. There we, there we go, that is perfect. And then just to garnish, uh, I've got a dehydrated apple there from ODK, I'm not sure, yeah we have. ODK, the apple, uh, the ODK apple slices there. We've got some of them. I'm just going to do a little dusting of cinnamon on top as well. So I might do the cinnamon first. Just a little bit of cinnamon. Lovely. There we go. Nice. About half of that and then the apple on the other side. Absolutely delicious. I don't personally want any lemon juice in that. I love that. It's just got a little bit of sweetness to it. I kind of love that. That is beautiful for me. I don't think you'll need any citrus, that's gorgeous. Right, cocktail number two, sort of similar, but slightly different, toffee apple highball, uh, brandy based this time. So I've got my cinnamon syrup, uh, brandy, uh, lemon juice there, and I measured out 50 ml of apple juice. I realized I want this a longer highball. So I've got 75 ml of pressed apple juice there. So we're going for 15 ml, one five of your caramel syrup. Don't forget those two extra bonus recipes on our community feed as well. So don't forget to go and check those out. You get seven recipes with every sort of syrup flavor that I do. So go and check that out. So 15 ml of caramel syrup, 50 ml double bubble of your brandy or cognac. Uh, I'm just going for 15, one five ml of squeezed, freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then as I say, this is already kind of pre-mixed, uh, pre-poured out. So 75 ml of uh, pressed apple juice gonna give it a good hard power shake would this work with whiskey of course it would i just like the brandy notes that sort of create this so good hard fast shake and then just gonna single strain into a nice ice filled highball simple as that there we go and then just to garnish uh, i've got another dehydrated apple there lime wedge uh, apple fan whatever you fancy that is all you need Perfect, let's have a little try. Completely different to that because of the brandy and the citrus notes of that. That is that completely and utterly different. That's amazing, love that. Rich apple forward, the caramel notes on there, a bit of citrus, delicious. Right, cocktail three, for your fifth and final cocktail, don't forget those two bonus recipes over on our community feed as well. Go and check them out. Seven cocktails with every flavor. Be a fifth and final one. I'm going for a caramel and chocolate old fashioned. Now, caveat. So uh, caramel syrup, um, uh, we've got our favorite whiskey, a favorite bourbon. I was gonna bring in some chocolate bitters at home. I completely forgot, sort of a chocolate version of Angostura, if you like, completely and utterly forgot. Now you could go Angostura bitters. In fact, I might just go for a cheeky dash. I'll do that now, actually. A cheeky dash of Angostura bitters in there to give us that sort of bitter effect. But what I'm gonna do and I'll do that now as well. I'm just gonna do a little tiny 
tiny, tiny drizzle of like cacao. And I mean literally like two to three mil of that. There we go. So it's not even like half a bar spoon. It's just literally kind of like two to three mil just to kind of get those uh, chocolate notes in there. So uh, to go back to normal then, we're going for, I'm just going 10 mil this time, 10 mil of caramel syrup because you don't want old fashioned too sweet. So 10 mil of caramel syrup and then I'm going for a 50 mil uh, double bubble of our whiskey. Um, so that would have been, as I say, chocolate bitters would have been Perfect, I forgot to bring them. So we're just gonna stir this down very, very quickly. I also forgot my bigger ice cubes as well. So uh, I'm gonna serve this up with little tiny ice cubes, but this is gonna be properly better if you've got like the bigger, chunkier ice cubes. There we go, after about 15 to 20 seconds, now the point being, the smaller the ice cubes, the quicker they are gonna melt and dilute, so you don't need to stir it down for that long. As I say, rocks glass there, small ice cubes, single strain, that should nicely kind of fill that up. And then just to garnish, as always, I've got, uh, there's the bag there, look, um, fresh bag of dehydrated oranges from uh, ODK. And it's flipping tasty, that is. I said, I, don't, I do like old fashions, I prefer rum fashions. Oh, rum, rum would have been better with that. But just that little bit of subtle, chocolate bitters would have been perfect in there. But that little subtle sort of hint of chocolate coming through there, chocolate and caramel with whiskey. It's kind of those inherent flavours you kind of get off some bourbons anyway, and rum to be fair. That is gorgeous. So there we go, boys and girls. Hopefully I didn't disappoint. Five absolute bangers with caramel syrup. If you love that, you are absolutely going to love that video there. So go and check that out for even more cocktail inspiration.